what's going on youtube you are back with your boy tech with tay let's get into it ah let's get into it boy oh boy oh boy ah the ccna as you can see from the title i won't reveal that until the end uh but yeah i took the ccna i will let you all know if i passed it uh if i failed it uh but yeah you gotta stay to the end to see that uh so yeah, 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 this going to be a little longer video than usual because the CCNA exam, if you have heard of it, if you're studying for it, then you know that uh, that it is, you know, a pretty in-depth exam and it's uh, a lot of areas to cover uh, as far as topics that you can go into the exam. I won't get in, you know, too deep into the topics. This isn't a, uh, this isn't a course that is, this is like a course or something. So, yeah, this is just, you know, going over how I study for the CCNA, what I use to study, uh, and pretty much how I schedule the exam, pretty much my mindset as I was studying for the certification. And, uh, you know, if I pass or fail, well, I have to keep on studying for the certification. But uh, like I said, you'll check that out in the end. Uh, so first and foremost, uh, all right, first and foremost, the materials that I use is going to be Jeremy's IT Lab. So Jeremy's IT Lab is a great course. It's completely free. You can find it on YouTube. Uh, just type in Jeremy's IT Lab. I also put his link uh, in the description as well, so you can go straight to his uh, YouTube page and start studying. All right. So Jeremy's IT Lab course. It's a great course to use. Uh, he actually puts uh labs along with the topics that you'll be studying so it makes it super simple you don't have to draw up your own topology like a network topology and thing like that uh it makes it super simple uh so you can just go right in and start using the lab and uh and and yeah it makes it super simple great course that's pretty much what i use to study everything and then i also use uh keith barker's channel to uh to take practice quizzes uh, and he also has a full course as well, but I, I didn't uh, use his course. I did use his uh, subnetting. He has a great subnetting technique uh, that he uses. And uh, yeah, I w if you want to learn subnetting really easy, how to do it in your brain and not have to like use a lot of math and things of that nature, I would definitely uh, look up Keith Barker. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to put a link to Keith Barker's channel as well in the description. And uh yeah, he actually uh, has a whole CCNA playlist where you can find these uh, these these quizzes uh, that you can study for each chapter. He has a quiz, and the questions that he asks are when you first start taking it, you're gonna be like, uh, you're gonna be like, man, these are kind of confusing at first. But it's actually what you want when you're taking the quiz because the CCNA is actually gonna it's, it's a difficult uh, exam, and it has questions that are you have to read through like two or three times and things of that nature so when you're taking this quiz it really makes you think and uh you know you you, you get a great understanding on uh what uh, you'll be uh asked in the cc in the exam so yeah those are the materials i use uh now we'll go ahead and move into uh pretty much how long it took me uh to study for the exam and uh and yeah pretty much that so I started studying back in November and uh, probably studied up until probably about March and then I kind of took a little break but I mean overall I, it was about six months that I used to study and uh, yeah I pretty I felt like it was more than enough time I probably could have done it faster if I if I stayed focused the whole time and uh, I have a thing where I, it's called like neuroplasticity or something of that nature where I like to learn something then I kind of let it sink in and, you know your brain has to like it has to take in all that new information and really understand it so uh, yeah I, I kind of took a break from studying just to let my brain like chill and all that kind of stuff but yeah it pretty much took me six long uh, six months long to study for the CCNA exam all right so leading up to the exam uh, when I'm leading up and I'm feeling like I'm about 70% of the way uh, prepared for the exam, I pretty much schedule the exam. It pretty, like I say, yeah, scheduling, well, I heard this from somebody as well, but uh, scheduling, I'm oh, sorry if I messed the mic up. All right, so scheduling the exam is something I believe is very important. It's definitely important to me because it makes me uh, lock in 
and really and really like it's serious at that point when you pay that money for the exam and you have a test date it's like all right it's on and popping you know it's now or never so you better be ready when you walk into that exam room so that's how i look at scheduling jesus excuse me scheduling the exam uh if you're like teetering on the fence like you think you're ready you're getting 70 percent 80 percent on the exam i would say go ahead and schedule the exam don't doubt yourself go ahead and schedule it and when you schedule it you're going to really notice that it is going to be, it's going to really like, you're going to feel it. You know what I mean? You're going to be like, okay, I scheduled it. I got to get ready. So you're going to really go even harder with studying. So that's what I did. And uh, it really helped me like really get prepared. Uh, and I would also say like leading up into, I guess if you're already taking practice quiz, it's cool. But how I kind of did it is I, I study for a while and then I go back in the course and I go, okay, I kind of get this topic, but I have some areas that are still like blind and everything of that nature. So you go back and you study those topics more, but I really say that taking the quizzes are really helpful as well, because it's going to give you, you have a question, but then you have four different answers. And so you have four different scenarios that it's, if, to put it plain and simple, you, uh, in the quiz, it helps you like really decipher what you know and what you don't know. So I would go ahead and say, do it that way. But you know, everybody has their own ways of doing it. But scheduling the exam is super important. That was pretty much what I wanted to cover there. Schedule the exam, make a commitment that you're gonna take this exam and, uh, and just do it. All right, so let's go ahead and move into how, I guess, test tips and pretty much as I was taking the exam, like what was going through my mind and everything of that nature because I know people get nervous. I, I know myself that uh, people get nervous when going into an exam and I get nervous going into an exam. It's like, all right, the pressure's on, but that's a good feeling. That really means you care about it and that uh, it means something to you. So uh, yeah, I went into the exam and uh, learning from Professor Mercer when I took my uh, A plus, my network plus and security plus, I uh, write, I pretty much, I don't even start the exam. I get into the room and they give you a, uh, a, a what is it, a, a dry erase marker and a dry erase board. I don't even click anything. I sit down, I take a few deep breaths uh, and really just make sure that I'm calm and that you know I'm selling my nerves because you don't wanna go in rushing into it, this exam. You pay money for this exam. So you wanna be as prepared as you can. Uh, so yeah, I pretty much write down the subnetting chart. It pretty much gives me about five minutes where I'm not even worried about the exam. I'm thinking about subnetting and doing math. So it kind of takes my mind off of it, eases me into it. Uh, but yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I did before the exam. Uh, and as I'm taking the exam, I, I won't lie to you, the CCNA exam, it is, it's a difficult exam. Uh, I won't lie, but you can do it. A lot of people have done it before and a lot of people have uh, passed it. So don't be afraid of it just make sure you're prepared when going into it uh and slow down that was a big thing uh slow down while you're taking the exam uh and just make sure you read through the question two three four times if you have to and uh you know that helps as well because some of these uh, some of these questions are going to give you answers uh in the future in in the uh in the later questions that you have. I will also say uh, that I'm sitting here thinking, I don't even know if I can talk about that uh, as far as, you know, cause you, you signed like an agreement with CCNA. So never mind. but uh, yeah, you will have like, you. I believe I can say this, that you have uh, like practice, not practice, uh, like what do they call them? Uh, performance based questions. So they'll give you like a switch and you have to configure a switch. You got to configure a router. Uh, I had uh, two of those questions, uh, configuring switches, and uh, I won't lie, they, they made you think, they really made you, uh, you know, have to, have to really apply what you learned, and so, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a pretty legit exam, I see why people, uh, you know, really uh, have this on the job application, they want you to have this, and all of that nature, because, if you know somebody that has uh, taken this exam, you know that they really have uh, networking down to, you know, they understand it. So, indeed.
All right, so why I took this exam is because I'm looking to get into a network administrator role, a network engineer role, or like a systems administrator role. So I felt I felt like if I had this exam under my belt, that this, uh, you know, it'll help me get into that role, which is gonna up my salary and everything of that nature. So that's why I took this exam. Uh, and also just to spread my knowledge on networking because eventually I will I want to move into some security aspects but before I've heard this from Professor Messer uh, before you can really do security you have to understand how the network works because you can't secure a network without knowing how the network works so all right so the big question right uh, boom 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 uh, <laughs> the big question did I pass or did I fail? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and say this with this. So I'm taking the exam, I probably was about 80 questions in, and I'm like, oh, all that self doubt that uh, all of that started coming into me. And I was like, man, like, I don't think I'm gonna pass this exam. <laughs> like, that's. I'm like, oh crap, man, and uh, I didn't give up, of course, I was like, I still stayed locked in, I mean, but it did hit me, I'm like, this has been pretty difficult, I don't know if I'm going to pass this, and I started I kind of getting nervous, but I just took a deep breath and was like, you know, uh, you know, we're here, and whatever happens, happens, if I need to take it again, I will, and uh, that's all it is, but to put it plain and simple, I did pass the CCNA. Uh, when that screen popped up, it was almost like my soul left my body. It was like, uh, yeah, I was like, wow, okay, I passed. All this stuff that I was studying, it, it wasn't uh, for nothing. So, yeah, I did pass the exam. Uh, thankful to myself, thankful to Jeremy's IT lab, thankful to Keith Barker for the resources. And, uh, yeah, it paid off. So, uh, yeah, 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 I passed the exam and I want you to pass it as well as well So like I said earlier if you're thinking about scheduling the, scheduling the exam and you're you took a course you got down the path uh, and You know you're like you're kind of questioning like oh well did I am I ready am I not ready? Oh, I don't know if I want to pay for it. Go ahead do it. All right. That's what I say do it do it do it do it go ahead and schedule the exam get your CCNA uh, and yeah, get you a better job or get some more knowledge or uh, switch careers. You know, a lot of people uh, have different reasons that they want to take this exam. So don't doubt yourself. Like I always say, uh, you can do it. It is, it's all on you. So, all right. So what's going to be next for me? So what's going to be next is uh, find a job. <laughs> So like I said, uh, excuse me, uh, I'm trying to get a network administrator role, network engineer role, or a systems administrator role. So I've been applying, applying, applying every day, and uh, uh, yeah, trying to find this uh, next job that I'm going to go into, and uh, yeah, I'm currently working for uh, a MSP and uh, as an IT specialist, but I'm looking to move up to another level, which uh, I believe is coming definitely in the near future, so yeah, that's going to be the next thing up for me. Uh, I'll probably make a video when I do get that job to let you all know, you know, what industry I'm working in, everything of that nature. But more videos coming. I know it's been a minute since I posted a video, uh, probably about two weeks now. Uh, so, yeah, I picked that post up. Yeah, I've been studying, been studying, been studying. I ain't had a lot of time uh, to, to, uh, to post videos and make videos. So that's where I've been at. But we back. <laughs> you better believe it. We are back. And uh, yeah, let's get it popping. Let's get it popping. You know what it is? This has been another video with Tech with Tay. Holla at your boy. Holla at your guala. Let's get it popping. Don't ever stop. Let's go.